Hey gents, today we're going to be taking a look at wool trousers from Tybar, Hugo Boss, Suit Supply, and Bonobos. Unfortunately, I lost a couple hours of footage as I was trying to put this video together. So I have my unboxings and my close-up shots, but my try-on shots and the video, the, the video where I talked about the trousers together, um, unfortunately, I, I don't know what happened. So um, I don't have some of the trousers anymore. I kept some and not the others. I don't want to give um, more attention to one versus the other. So instead of delaying this video anymore, I just want to talk about what I learned. Having all the trousers, give you some recommendations. And as always, make sure you subscribe to learn about the best menswear on the internet. Give a thumbs up for great wool trousers. And let's dive in. This video really came about when the Thai Bar announced their new wool trousers at $75, which is a great deal. They were positioning them as $250 trousers at $75. And I was really curious because $250 trousers are up in the Hugo Boss range, so I went and grabbed both of them. I wasn't able to get my exact size in the tie bar, but I was able to get pretty close. The tie bar pants came out incredibly well, so the fabric feels very solid, and actually, I wouldn't be able to distinguish between the fabrics of the tie bar and Hugo Boss. Where Hugo Boss does get the edge, however, is the construction, and you can really feel it in the waistband, the pockets, and some of the seams. However, I do not think Hugo Boss has double the quality of the tie bar pants. The one company I almost put in here was Banner Republic. They have wool stretch trousers, wool performance stretch trousers uh, and at about the $118 mark. And how, but you know, they're not really performance wool. They're wool with a little bit of stretch. However, like wool is a naturally antimicrobial, uh, anti-wrinkle. I don't know. The whole thing was, was a little bit odd to me. But it's tough to compare those and give pricing recommendations because Banner Republic is always like 40 off, you can get discounts and everything else. And so uh, that is one that's not in here. The tie bar has 3% elastane against 97% wool, and the Hugo Boss pants that I got were 100% wool. And there's a little bit of stretch in the tie bar pants, but it doesn't seem like there's enough to have enough give if you were worried about ripping. And so, like my performance dress pants from somebody like Ministry of Supply have a lot of stretch, and I'm really not worried about ripping those. But in both the tie bar and Hugo Boss ones, I would be concerned with ripping if that's one of your issues. Sticking on quality for just a minute, the dark horses in this review were definitely for Suit Supply. They have their wool trousers, which I ordered, which were $269, but they were 90% wool, 10% cashmere, and they are incredible. They feel so luxurious, and it looks makes the Hugo Boss pants go to shame. So really, when you talk about these like upstart brands competing against the big ones, if you want to invest in off-the-rack trousers that are up in that $200, that high-quality price range, the Suit Supply ones look so good against the Hugo Boss. The light gray pair of Suit Supply pants that I got are actually more like a jogger trouser. They have a drawstring, and uh, those, I was really surprised how much I really liked them when I tried them on. Uh, I didn't end up keeping them just because they weren't very practical. But then the Bonobos ones at $198 give themselves a very interesting positioning because this is another one where if you're looking against Hugo Boss, versus the Bonobos ones, I would absolutely pick the Bonobos ones. There's something special about the material and fit in the Bonobos pants, which I can't get over. When you, I put them on, they feel so perfect. And the wool has an incredible feeling to it. It has more of the Hugo Boss construction than the tie bar does. And so the Bonobos ones are a very interesting middle ground between the $75 tie bar and the $250 Hugo Boss. When it comes to fit, the tie bar, really nice taper. They do have lots of sizing options, so you should be able to find what you need directly on their site. I wasn't able to get 34 at the time I ordered. However, I think they are back in stock. The Hugo Boss ones came unfinished, which is a pro and a con. So it's a pro because if you have an odd inseam like myself, I'm more like a 35. I need something in between a 34 and 36 inseam. But the Hugo Boss ones come unhemmed. Just be ready to pay in like 10 bucks or so to get it hemmed at a local tailor, or you can do it yourself. Um, I've I tried it a couple of times and I can do it, but I wouldn't want to risk it on such expensive pants. The suit supply ones felt amazing, perfect fit in the waist and in the length. Wouldn't have to get those hemmed at all. They also, because they fit so well, they don't have any belt loops, so you have the side tabs on the side. So if you need to do a slight adjustment, that was really nice. And then the Bonobos ones, as I mentioned, this like perfect magical fit from Bonobos. When I ordered 3034 from Bonobos in any of their pants, whether it's their weekday cotton warriors, their wash chinos, or their you know, dress trousers right now. They always fit perfect and I'm very impressed with that. The styling out of all of them, the tie bar is just like a conservative general style. Uh, this, uh, to me, the style 
champion of this one went to the suit supply ones because they were this rich, deep textured wool and cashmere blend. They also had cuffs and the fact that they had the side tabs instead of belt loops would make these an incredible dress trouser. From an overall value perspective, has to go to the tie bar at $75. These pants aren't quite worth $250 like they say on their website, but I would say $150. They're really punching above their weight when it comes to quality, styling, and, and price in the tie bar ones. A very close second are the Bonobos ones. I know the Bonobos ones are up almost at $200 mark, but I do think you're getting the quality, construction, fit styling, everything that you would expect out of those great pants. And so it really, those are another example where it makes Hugo Boss look like a terrible deal. Number three is easily the suit supply ones. If you're ready to step up into these more premium trousers, you can look at the suit supply and get incredible stuff. You're looking at a luxurious blend of wool and cashmere, excellently styled, modern, and uh, just really, really big fan of those. So my review points, quality, fit, style, value, and overall experience. Overall experience goes to either Bonobos or Suit Supply. Both of them have fast, free shipping, and they include the return label in the box. They also have really nice presentation of their boxes. The Hugo Boss ones had a specific wrapping inside of a box. The box is a little bit big, and you can tell that your Suit Supply and Bonobos are digitally native e-commerce brands. Hugo Boss is a company that's trying to do their best in that space, and so while it was pretty good, Suit Supply and Bonobos win on that standpoint. The tie bar did not include a return label within the box. However, they do have free shipping on the pants. So all of them are very good, but Suit Supply and Bonobos just had that little extra bit of e-commerce magic that I really gravitate to as a digitally native shopper. So there you have it, gents. If you have any questions about the wool trousers, I'm also working on a belt, -less, belt loop less Roundup where I, that's one of the reasons I got the suit supply pants in this one. Bonobos doesn't offer them in there, but I'm, that one's coming very soon. I actually have them hanging up right here. So I'm looking forward to doing that one for you. As always, open to more suggestions on companies, brands, products, video topics, all that stuff. I'll put links below to uh, all kinds of things that I'm working on and um, always appreciate your feedback in the comments. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. I'd love to hear from you guys over there. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. You're in your car, I'm on my motorcycle, lay on the floor, naturally bite your ankles, I laughed till I cried, I partied all of the time.